back to my channel. Today I'm at Sweet Freedom Bakery here in Philadelphia, one of Philly's top vegan and gluten-free dessert shops, and I'm excited to try out their products today. I mean, I'm going to have some donuts, some cupcakes, and other treats that they have here. So, I'm here with Jen, co-owner of Sweet Freedom Bakery, and she's about to tell us a little bit about Sweet Freedom and, you know, why they decide to go gluten-free and vegan. Go ahead, Jen. Okay. Hey. So you see we're free of a lot more. Um, we're free of gluten, corn, soy, dairy, eggs, nuts, refined sugar. Um, and essentially, the story goes that my partner Allison um, had some of her own food sensitivities and didn't find the best things on the market at the time and just really wanted to help others that felt a little undernourished with the products on at the market and trying to make some more exciting things for vegans and gluten-free people alike. Right. So instead of just playing in her own kitchen, she decided to take it to the next level. She wrote a cookbook and put this whole cool bakery together. And now we have two locations. And the other one? Um, it's in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Oh, OK. That's and close by. Yeah, not far from now. Yes. So uh, tell me, what makes your products so different from other vegan spots here in Philly? I think it's the allergy-friendly aspect of it. So we are, of course, vegan. So we're not using any dairy, any eggs, any animal products, um, no honey, any any animal products. But also combining that with free of nuts, free of refined sugar, um, free of gluten, free of all this stuff. It just um, I think it's just making it more real food. Where a lot of vegan food can sort of be an imitation food, like we have wheat meat. Well, we can't have that because that's right. You know, or we have you know just bacon instead of bacon, and there's a lot of manipulated foods that are going into this. Oh. Where this is more real food. So yeah, we're not using an egg, but we're using applesauce, or we're using flax. We're not using an egg substitute that's chemically created. Right. We um, like real food. <laughs> so that kind of makes us stand out, I believe, more so than just the average vegan place. Okay, that's a great point. Any other info you want to tell us about the uh, Sweet Freedom Bakery? Oh yeah, uh, most importantly we ship. <laughs> so you don't have to live in Philadelphia to get all the good stuff. Um, our website is sweetfreedombakery.com. Um, you can contact me directly or any of our employees at sweetfreedombakery at gmail.com in case you have any other questions that you needed to you know, find out more about what we do. Um, we're safe for diabetics. We, um, we're good school-friendly treats. Um, so it's always nice to know that we've, we've got a few different markets that we speak to nicely um, in a helpful manner. Okay, well thank you so much, Jen. I can't wait to try everything here. Um, maybe the cupcakes are just really looking for the yeah, cupcakes because I love cupcakes. Good. And if it's vegan, I want to try it. I've never really had vegan food before, guys. So I'm excited. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's start with a donut. A donut? You heard her. We're going to start with a donut. And then I'll work my way up into a cupcake. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have a little chat with Morgan, who's about to tell us about the different desserts here. So Morgan, tell me what are the top sellers here. The top sellers would be the Magic Bars, the, most, of our cupcake, here, most of our cupcakes, probably the Salty Caramel Cupcake is a like fan favorite. Okay. Um, and then also um, our Fruto Crumble, they vary, sometimes we have blueberries, sometimes we have peach, depending on like, the fruit. Is that what this, this is? is? Yes, this is apple. Oh, may I try one of those? Absolutely. Oh, I get to try one. So what does this exactly? Um, it's a cookie-based like crust and cooked fruits and topped with a um, oat crumble that we make and we put and we put it on top and then we refrigerate that in. But the okay. the base is like baked. Oh, okay. okay. Alrighty, let's try this. I like that. <laughs> wow. Good. You can definitely taste the apples in here. This is good. You know, guys, there's a myth that if it's vegan and if it's healthy, it should taste horrible. But apparently not. Absolutely not. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I can't wait to try other stuff. Like, jeez. I'm definitely having donuts. Definitely having cupcakes. And um, I'm going to try this magic bar. And I'm probably going to have to steal one of these and take home because it's, it's really good. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna try some of these desserts that Morgan's about to give me. I'm gonna have the donut, the berry cake, of course, that apple crumble. What's the name of this donut, Morgan? It is a salted caramel mocha donut. Um, it's a chocolate-based donut with um, uh, chocolate glaze, chocolate chips, filled with uh, caramel and has some coffee grounds on it. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. And here's the Berry Delight Cupcake. Ooh. And there's some of the Magic Bars. Hey, it's what is that? A cookie um, base with the same um, chocolate glaze on, that's on the donuts. It's a, a layer of chocolate glaze, and then we top it with co um, toasted coconut or raw coconut. Okay. Um, and it's very popular. Okay. People think that it's like a candy bar, but like oh. it's like a vegan candy bar that's healthy and that they can have. Nice. And then, of course, the yummy apple oat crumble. It is so good, guys. Like, um, it's totally worth a trip down here for sure. So, we have the donut. The berry cupcake, the magic bar, and also the apple oat crumble. So I'm gonna start with the magic bar here.
Is it? I mean, you can't. <laughs>